Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to speed up and improve your battery life for the Galaxy Tab S3. Now this is through a couple of different steps. Uh, the first one though, if you've ever seen the channel you're very familiar with, of course subscribe to see all the latest videos for this tablet and all the new electronics that are coming out this year. So let's go into settings, start off there and we're going to go to about device and then we're going to go to build number so you're going to hit build number repeatedly and once you've done that you will actually go to developer options which wasn't there before from here you're actually going to be able to speed up the movement that your tablet does and this is under the drawing category and it's the three things that say animation and scale you know, tap each of these and hit 0 0.5 so you tell your tablet hey instead of doing everything in a second do it in half a second and this speeds up the animation really well and allows you to do a lot more things quickly and it, you'll see it over time just hitting things like the home button from an app definitely stands out more now than it did before so you're going to notice it kind of goes quickly from that now that'll be the first step the second step is in the settings section you're going to want to go to location which I always forget where it is let's see I want to say it's in security nope counts oh well nice feature in the settings is you can just search and type in location and there it is and so in location, you're going to want to go to improve accuracy, and you're going to want to turn off Bluetooth scanning. I turned off Wi-Fi scanning as well. Wi-Fi scanning will help you find your location better, obviously, since this is a non-connected tablet, or at least the Wi-Fi version of it. But um, overall, this is going to be a much better way and saves you battery life. Over time, it saves you a good amount, about 10%. So this will help out uh, with that. Then you're going to want to go to advanced features. Now, advanced features are a lot of features that I would say probably 90% of people don't know exist and uh, never use. So uh, for that reason you want to turn them off. Anything that goes on while you are not using it is of course draining your battery life. So the ones I recommend you turn off are palm swipe capture and easy mute. And if you don't know what any of these do, just simply tap it and you can read what it actually does. If that doesn't seem like something you would use, then get rid of it. Uh, I like smart capture, so I do keep that one, and direct sharing just makes uh, mirroring this tablet to my TVs much easier, as well as connecting to other devices. Uh, smart stay, I also turn off. Um, it's up to you if you want to turn on. Again, just go to it. But those are the ones that I recommend turning off. You have other S Pen features you can look at and see which ones you want to have off for that reason. A lot of different inputs, so make sure you see which ones suit you best and which ones don't. That being said, we're going to end with deleting unwanted apps. So these phones come with a lot of pre-done apps, some from Microsoft, from some from Samsung, some from your carrier if you have the connected version, and of course Google. So to get rid of it, you just hit more options, edit, and this will allow you to delete certain apps that you might not ever use. I don't like textured, never will use it, so I'm going to get rid of that one. If you're wondering what the difference between uninstall and disable is, uninstalling means it's completely removed from your uh, tablet. Disabling means that it will no longer run in the background. It will no longer uh, be utilized uh, by your battery, processor, RAM, anything like that. So either way, it's good to get rid of it if you don't use it. I also don't use Skype, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. And there you have that. Um, I do at least play around with most of these apps, um, but if you don't, I don't like Penup. That's one that I don't care for, so I will disable that one. I think their new Recolor app is much better. And let's see, Google. For the Google, I do use pretty much every single one of these apps, uh, so I will leave them there. But that gives you an idea of which ones you want on uh, your device and which ones you don't want on there. So if there are more apps that you don't feel you need, make sure to delete them. However, I do always caution people, you do not want to delete 
uh, the Google app right here, if anything, just because that allows uh, everything to function properly for Google services. So don't get rid of that one. Anything else is pretty much free game, but don't get rid of that one. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. This will help your tablet move much faster and much smoother. Thank you, as always, for watching. Make sure you give that like thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.